Yep. Alright, welcome to Half Game. We'll play for Planets Under Attack. I know next to nothing about this game, so we'll be learning together. Uh, let's see. Okay. Let's just dive right in. Is there a tutorial or something? New Horizon. I wish there was. Boundless possibilities and unimaginable profits await you in a newly discovered Omega sector. The new Earth Dream Omega? has finally come Omega? true. Omega? So said the brochure, given to all those desperate enough to go to the edge of the known universe to make some money. Mr. Goodman, an ex-clerk turned ship commander, inherited debt ex -clark? from his so massive that no salary in the universe can touch it. He has a plan, however, a dangerous trip to the newly discovered galaxy that will reap him untold riches or result in his untimely demise. Well, risk reward. Come on. On the map of the galaxy, each star is a mission. In All the right. beginning, only one star is available. New paths will unlock as you complete additional missions. Sounds Some fair. paths are locked and require stars to break the lock in order to advance. You'll see the number of stars needed on the lock itself. Stars are earned by fulfilling special conditions during missions. Sometimes you'll need to complete missions more than once to earn stars. Harder difficulty settings allow for more sub-goals and, subsequently, more stars. Less playthrough of an individual level. But you get... gotcha, gotcha. Alright. Eliminate opponents. The goal of this level okay. is to capture an opponent's planet. Spend money to make your ships attack the target planet. The more ships you send, the more money you'll spend. The enemy planet is too strong now. Let's capture a neutral planet first to gain strength. That Place gray one is neutral. On a neutral planet to attack it. Select a target planet with the left stick, then hold down the right bumper to open the ship menu. The controls seem kind of loopy. No, wait, wait a minute. If I just tap the analog, it just goes back. Like it's sticky. Eh, whatever. Okay. This seems kind of cruel. I'm just going to attack people that don't. Eh. When you set a marker, all your planets will send ships there. You can better synchronize your attack by switching your planets between attack and guard modes. Planets in guard mode will show a small green shield and won't send ships. You can switch between guard and attack modes by pressing A. Now, capture one more planet. You can remove the existing marker by pressing the B button after opening the ship menu on a planet where the marker is set. It won't return your money, but your ships will stop flying there. Did I do that right? Uh, I really don't even know. Oh, that's the... Okay, it's on guard mode. So... Uh, I thought I just... Oh. There we go. Take it off guard mode. Now I can send the ships. And at the right along, I can make myself dizzy. Yay! Okay, I'll stop. And make you dizzy, too. Now you know how to conquer. Now accumulate enough solars and ships, and capture the opponent's planet. Okay, I need 25. So, we should be good, then. Okay.
Hey, we won. You may play each mission on different difficulty levels. Medium and hard difficulty have sub-goals that will allow you to earn more stars. Okay. First blood. We're just gonna stick to easy. The more planets you have, the more money you learn by taxing them. Notice that solars stop accumulating when your army attacks. Choose wisely between attacking and defending. Uh. It's time to learn how to make your planets stronger. You can upgrade your planet so it will produce more ships, but upgrades cost money. Upgrade now. Stop telling me what to do. Select your planet and press the left shoulder button to open the upgrade menu and then press the A button to upgrade your planet. So I spent 30 bucks. Cool. Good. Planets can be upgraded three times. Each upgrade increases the planet's defense and overall performance. Uh-oh. You're under attack. Send defenders the same way you send attack ships. Defending costs nothing, and you'll still attack. It takes time for your ships to reach the planet, so do not leave your property unprotected. If the enemy catches your planet, its upgrade level decreases. Uh, what am I supposed to do? Oh, they got it back. I didn't want that. Okay. Get him. It's not understanding the part about still earning money. Oh, I just have that one defend itself. Uh, let's take this one down first. Since that's closest, I should stay defensive. Uh oh. Okay. Hopefully that one can. Nope, they got it. Not for long, though. No. I have no oh, It's obviously stacked against them. I have just too many. Too many resources. Boom. We've captured some aliens that inhabit that sector and brainwashed them. Now you may play the tutorial for the robots, which covers the major differences between our races. Just start the mission below. Robots are a second playable race available in skirmish and multiplayer. It is advised that you play at least half of the human campaign before trying the robots. Way to break through the fourth wall, dude. I didn't want to know I was playing a campaign. type of planet a space fortress it will attack any nearby enemies and may be upgraded with deadlier guns and new abilities you've noticed that there are sub goals in each mission when playing on medium and hard difficulty. yeah I've noticed so these are all neutral 
What's to stop me? Oh, no, it's already doing its thing, so we, we gotta get this started. I was gonna say, uh, I could pretty easily, uh, go around all those and just attack the main one, but I gotta get some of these ships. Sorry, some of these planets under my control first. So, this will stay defensive. Attack this one. Okay. I feel like I've played a uh, an Xbox Live indie game that was very similar to this. I can't think of the name of it though. crushed. Everybody sent their ships there. It's not going to work out too well for you. Of course, I'm using a lot of resources to take it down. And then again, it's on easy, so, yeah. Let's try it on medium. Capture target to planets. In capture mode, you must capture all target planets marked with a whirlwind before your opponent does. Or you may just wipe your opponent out. Uh, let's go with the latter. Completely defenseless. They took it back that fast? Wow. Didn't see that happening. Right, let's let's take this thing back first. Uh oh, one at the top. Nope, oh, they got it back. <clears throat> medium is medium. Uh -oh, we gotta we gotta work fast here. The issue is it's taking me too long to get to these places. I'm barely holding on to anything. Let's see. Come on, attack, fool. I keep going back and forth with these two here. And they still have it. You know what, let's just, you know, hit this, let's go to the choke point. Attack it at the choke point. Go to their most plentiful planet. Wipe them out, if at all possible. What is going on? No, this isn't working out real well. They keep slowly taking stuff back. Why aren't they attacking? I don't have any money. Yeah, that that would uh that would explain it. Gotta set them to defensive, earn some more money. Then I can go back. Of course, they're on their way to kill me. I keep forgetting it to keep them defensive in order to, to accrue money. This isn't going to be pretty. Wow. Yeah, medium is medium. Uh, 
try it again. Don't want to go back to easy that fast. Okay, let's take care of this one, one at a time. Take care of this one. And they take it right back. Man. Jeez. Let's see if I can keep them defensive long enough to earn some money back. These three, I'm straight. Yeah, no, fine. They're not neutral, whatever. Okay, we'll take him off defensive. Uh oh. <laughs> of course, by the time I left the planet, they already took it back. Still couldn't do it. I'm not moving fast enough. I don't have that's it. Let me re uh, yep, I lost again. I think really fast. Try it on easy. I'm assuming less aggressive on easy. Okay, so what you got here? Take it right back. Great. Not the most interesting game to watch, I'm sure. But it is fun. Especially when you're on easy. That helps. Wait a minute, is it. Do I have this one or no? No, I don't have this one. So we need to take it.
then we need to go at this one full force. And we're we got it, yeah. Alright, different AI finally. Get 300 domination points. To win in domination mode, you must be the first to collect enough domination points. You'll earn points for every second you control planets marked with a whirlwind. Yeah, the risk reward of even getting to the planet is nuts. I'm losing a lot of ships. So hopefully I can still take it over. I hope. And barely mine. Let's upgrade it. Store that one up. Okay, let's take this one. Money isn't growing. There it is. Okay. Yeah, I guess it is. it already. I move faster here. I'm not attacking the wrong, like, I'm not even thinking. What just happened? Not really. It's a lot more green than anything else. Okay. Alright. And last but not least, take over this one. As a reward for your performance, we'll teach you how to use techs, starting from the next level. Select one or several from the galaxy map. Got one. Yay. Now you can use technologies. Take a look at the text button at the bottom of the screen. Press it any time on the campaign screen to open the technologies menu. This is the technology screen. Here, you may select new technologies as you level up. Up to three techs may be selected at a time. Wow, that's a, that's a positive term.
we'll stick with that easy. Look at the upper left corner of the screen. This is the wealth meter. Higher wealth will greatly benefit your armies, making them stronger and faster. As your money vault fills up, you'll get a bonus to attack and defense. However, each planet you have increases the maximum amount of money needed, making the bonus harder to reach. Do not spend all of your money on an attack. It will deplete your wealth meter and lower the performance of your ships. have any money to do anything come on 30 bucks let's do it why is it so difficult There's only three more left I gotta go around the atmosphere to go all the way around Oh, come on. And... It's ours. Nine to one, yeah, one sixty something and counting. That's not good. This is low hanging fruit. I gotta get this one first before I can do anything else. And I'm done. Okay, yeah, that's, yeah, I, think, I feel like that's enough. Uh, just, I'm sure there's more to the game, more text, more things to, to unlock, but that should serve as a, uh, a decent sampling of what Planets Under Attack has to offer. Uh, it's interesting. I, yeah, like I said, I've played some indie games that are quite similar to it. This is obviously much more polished not really even in my wheelhouse, but I, I did enjoy it. Uh, maybe online play is, is a little more fun. Obviously the AI is uh, quite challenging, even on easy, as you get later on, just in the tutorial. But uh, yeah, you kind of know if this is something you'd be into or not. But I, I, I see the appeal, so if I can find someone else to play with, maybe it'd be kind of fun to play online or what have you. Alright, that's it. GameOfThoose.com, podcasts and videos. Have a good one.